Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I plan to deploy the Bitscap high frequency trading grid bot to hedge my position that I'm going to pick up here in a moment on Aave uh, or the Lend token. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they are actually a all-in-one trading platform. Now, as far as security goes, you actually still have control of all your money. You're just connecting your exchanges via API keys. So they're bots or if you are doing the actual trading from the platform like I'm going to do here in a moment. None of your currency is actually being controlled by Bitscap. So it's no different than using any of the other automated trading bots out there. Another cool feature they offer is an arbitrage feature. If you'd like to see me do a video on that, leave comments down below. Uh, also, the grid bot, which actually drew me to this platform so that's what we're going to be setting up today and i'll be doing updates on how the bot is performing in the future so now is a good time to subscribe and we'll jump over to pricing real quick before we get into the weeds on setting up that grid bot and they do have three different levels and if you actually sign up through the link down below you'll get their pro account for i believe it's 14 days free uh, just by signing up through my link down below and just looking through the specs real quick You can see the different Benefits you could have two active trading bots with the basic and that's good enough for most beginner traders to get started The advanced obviously is going to give you the five active bots and the arbitrage and then the pro gives you a lot more bots uh, unlimited trading volume the pro subscription is the one I'll be using and demoing for you today and in the future. And I'm going to get right to the configuration here in a moment. Before I do, I want to take a look at the market because I'm actually going to be buying into the Lend or Aave token. But before I do, today, we actually the last two days, we have seen nothing but blood in the streets for Bitcoin. And I actually marked off the 10.5 level after this last push up and this pull back and the continuation up. I threw in a line at the 10.5 as a number I didn't want to see Bitcoin go below if I was going to stay bullish in the market. And you can see it actually came down and touched it. And right now we've touched it and we're bouncing off. And I also threw in this line after we reached up around 12 and came back down and retreated. So this is a level I can see many touches and retreats on. And again, three days ago, we touched that level and we've retreated. Now this is a little bigger retreat than I would have liked to see, but I still like buying these dips. I've been watching Aave and their Lend token and I've been waiting for a pullback after their recent run up. If you're not familiar with Lend, they are one of the DeFi projects that have exploded recently and their price went pretty much parabolic. So I was waiting for a pullback, which we're getting now and we're looking at support around 50 and i will show you in the bot how i'm going to hedge this position i'm going to take an entry here around the 60 and i'll show you how i hedge the position if this continues to move down maybe towards 50 or 40 i'll be buying in that whole way down and then the way the bot will work it when it finally does rebound and start moving back up i'll be selling for profit the whole idea behind the bitscap grid bot is to buy on the way down and sell on the way up and so i'm going to be using the qcoin exchange you can simply add your exchanges by clicking on the my exchanges tab and add your api keys for the exchange uh, so i'll be using my qcoin exchange the lend usd pair and you can actually scroll down and if i click on balances it will show my balance of USD, I've got some Q coins and some dust of ample from an earlier trade. And so let's start configuring this bot. Now, the first thing is grid quantity. I want to get my grid quantity set up. I want to go with a hundred grid spaces, and each grid space indicates a buy in the green or a sell in the red. Now, I want my grid 
lower price I could actually type in the lower price here I could type it in at say 50 and that's going to drop the grid down or I can just click and drag this down and I'm actually looking to be at the 40 level and we'll wipe out the those two numbers there and now my grid bottom is at 40 and I'm going to put the top of my grid at 80 and in this case I'm just going to type in the 80 and now my grid is set up with the lower level at 40 now I could put a stop loss down below that level but the reason I'm actually setting up this grid bot on lend or Ave is because it's a coin I'm willing to hold for the long term I really see this as a long range target and have no desire to actually get out of this target so I'm going to go ahead and take the stop loss off and then trailing up what that will do if this moves up and out of this zone it will follow it up and move this whole grid up so the grid will follow the price action up so I have that turned on because we can see on Lind it did approach the 90 it did bounce off of the 90 cent mark so I want to make sure that I follow that pricing up from the 80 up to the 90 and so we jump back over to the grid and so this would follow if it breaks the 80 price and continues upwards the whole grid is going to move up with it now my grid spacing is set at 0.7 percent so each grid has a separation of 0.7 percent between the grids I'll zoom in now each line the red lines represent sell as it moves back up and the green lines represent buy as it moves back down and the space between these lines on the grid will be 0.7 percent and now that the grid is all set up I have all my parameters set where I want those parameters I need to dedicate a certain portion of my available balance from Qcoin to the actual bot itself now I don't want it to have control I don't want it actually using the entire balance over on Qcoin so I'm going to throw in a number at 25 and percent and with that allocation as soon as I hit start bot it will purchase 362 lend tokens that way it has something to sell on the way up and it will have in reserve about 307 USDT to buy if this continues to move down so let's go ahead and get this bot started so I click start bot yes I wanted to buy now it's looking at 397 lend and it has placed the market buy for the 397 lend and you can see I now have my bot active and ready to go and I could actually view the details I can make adjustments here I could throw in the stop loss if I wanted to I could take off the trailing up I can turn on take profit and if it moved up a certain percent I could take profit again this is a long-term hold for me at the moment so I'm not going to turn on either stop loss or the take profit I want to go ahead and hold this and that pretty much wraps it up I will be doing an updated video here in the near future on this particular bot so you might want to subscribe to see that update also if you want to get this type of pro account like I have the link down below will get you that for free for a limited amount of time if you like the video do me a favor and spike that like and if you have any questions or comments do that down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video